Hey, Mitch. Doing good. Yeah, got a little camera set up. A little POV action. You look very clean cut today. Thank you. I am trying to a little bit more professional. How's work going? Yeah, I got back from West Virginia last week and I'm leaving today to go to Illinois. Wow. And then I'm going to Kentucky and then back up. Be home for a couple of days and then I'm going to Nebraska. Jeez, oh, Pete. South Dakota. So you had your long stretch off there. It's just back to the grind for... Until uh, harvest season. Yeah. Once the tractors are in the field, I've got nothing to do. So from, you know, sometime around September to like January 1st, no. So I had enough before fall. Right. You j obviously drive everywhere you go then. Really? Converter. Nice. Yeah, because if I get the right diesel engine, you can, can make them run off of like waste vegetable oil. Wow. So like that, so you have two tanks. You have a diesel tank and then a waste veggie oil tank. I don't know exactly how the mechanism works, but you can switch it, run it, you start it on diesel, run it on veggie oil, and then like 10 minutes before you turn it off, run it on diesel again. Yeah. Right. Interesting. And I feel like. Most people would think that would be cool, but you actually have the yeah. skill set to convert a bus, you know? Maybe. <laughs> like, I, I would theoretically love to convert a bus, but there's no way in the world that I would ever be able to pull that off. But I feel like that's cool that you could bring that to light, and it would help for work, too, See, at the same thing, time. I don't think I have that much, as much knowledge as you think. It's just, I go online, and I can, you know what I mean? It's all sure. about reading about how to do it, and then comprehending it. You're, um, I, and I'm not exaggerating, this was two days ago and four days ago, and we've had this conversation like eight months ago, it, the tapping the thing under my car lasted for six months straight, it didn't start up four days ago, I'm like, I'm gonna try it again, started right up for two days, I just did it again, it, it's been about nine, nine months at this point in time, yeah, and I remember you saying that's like a, like an emergency, it's smart. It would be smart for me to check in, but at the same time, I'm like, huh, I'll just start my car up for what I need today. Sometimes you can get it going, but once the solar starts going up and going out, starters aren't too bad to replace, really. Well, there might be a side-facing one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that could get it. I want to get into um, talking about like getting into handy things and stuff. I feel like a good point of entry for me would be buying broken down espresso machines. Yeah. Taking the sides off, like learning how to, I would become handy, learn how to work with tools, and then it could maybe work up to bigger things, but I feel like that would be, I have an interest in it, it would be beneficial because then I'd have spro machines. And it's pretty niche too, I imagine like a lot of people, once it breaks, they just sell it for dirt cheap online. Oh, shit. If you've got really good at those things, Potentially, like, sell that service to places around town that you come in, yeah. Yeah, you could probably make good money doing that stuff. This that's one thing that I like about the coffee industry. Like, at first glance, you're making a cup of coffee, but if you want to roast beans or like, like, with just that, there's so many little, like, weird little niche pocket things about it that I like. Yeah, yeah, Holy cow. The espresso machines? Yeah. yeah, this one's 18 grand. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Especially because odds are the people who are working on it, even though they might be talented at making coffee, they're not going to know how to fix it. The owner of the place maybe does not. So I feel like that yeah. it's such a pricey thing. You're going to want somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. Yeah, put aside some cheddar. Buy one that doesn't work. Oh, my God. Yeah. Buy one that doesn't like, work. You're like, now we're going. <laughs> fix it. Flip it. And they sell it. Boom. And think about it, too. You're kind of in the perfect industry for that because 
of the you know the vibe of a coffee shop. It's like, oh, this was a rescue espresso machine. Yeah. You know, this was a salvaged one. This is one that was fixed instead of vintage. For sure, I feel like that's very this. I don't want to say generation, but it is very into upcycling, of yeah. the, um, reusing and repurposing. It's I guess like the first time in history that up like buying something broken, fixing it, and selling it is actually like a selling point. Yeah, which like, is weird. It's yeah. like a little bit more of a story behind it, and it's more personable. I think that's a fucking brilliant idea. That is a brilliant idea. If I ever. Kn- I know you probably never worked on one before, but I feel like it's something you, if I got stuck, you'd probably be able to give me a hand with because, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you said, you can watch a video and figure anything out. For some reason, my brain doesn't work like that. If I see somebody in real life do it, though, it clicks. But I don't know, the, the screen translation, I can't watch a video and be like, got it, got it. Like, I need to be like, all angles. Probably, probably. Honestly, the trick, and this is what I've learned with everything, is as long as you have like a backup plan, you know what I mean? Like, okay, mm-hmm. I've got enough money put aside. If I fuck up my truck, I can take it and get it fixed somewhere professionally. Mm-hmm. So when I go into my truck, I just I have no fear. Like, if I fuck it up, I fuck it up. That's just the nature of the beast. For sure. And now I've gotten to the point where it's like, if I fuck it up, no. I can fix it. So yeah. I'm even less afraid. But, but you just had to jump in and just do it at yeah, some point in time. With everything. This is like. I'm making this product, I actually was just doing that this morning. What, the one you're just, put, the alien, alien technology? technology? Yeah. What is that? It's a, a hand-applied urethane uh, coating. Nice. Yeah. That, is that new? I, I, so it's been around for a while. I've had some inspiration, but I made, I formulated it uh, in like 2019, 2018. Okay. Sure. And I've been kind of digging with it for a while. And then uh, Buddy reached out recently and he's like, oh, we need to manufacture this and sell it. So nice. We're doing that this morning. But the trick to applying it is you just have to have no fear. Sure. Because if you're hesitant when you do it, you're going to fuck it up. Got gotcha. you. You just go and do it and you pretend that you're confident with it and you kind of trick yourself and it always works out. Yeah. See, I didn't want to assume, but when you, when I still, like, said you look clean cut, I was like, are you business moves in the works? Or like, yeah. it seemed fitting for like... Uh, new developments in your your yeah, work stuff. I'm trying to get away from the trap with For sure. Um, just because that's getting You can burn out on it a little bit you faster. I mean, if I was going to really nice places, like West Virginia is beautiful, don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Bloomington, Illinois today. So. Enough said. <laughs> it's not a, not a staycation every time you go. It never is. <laughs> Oh, you have to keep me updated on that uh, business. I'm all for supporting people's business. It, it literally, it like lights my fire. It sounds so cheesy, but I get so excited when someone else starts something up. Heck yeah. This is too. We'll spitball off of each other. I will, man. Appreciate it. See you, Mitch. Toodle. Hey, how are you doing? Doing good, thank you. Give me a huge flavor. Hand me um, a gallon of milk, please. Thank big you. Deal, I think uh, that one's just gonna be for me, honestly. Oh, just a classic <laughs> latte. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Is that Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell me when? Sure. Yeah, we've got stir sticks if you need. Like, are you steaming for this cap? Mm-hmm. Got it right here. That shot's mine right there. Well, sorry. All right. You know what? Leave it in that cap cup. I'll drink a. I'm so sorry. 
I'm gonna kick back a cap shot. I'm messing with all your shit. Caption this, I'm gonna drink a cap shot. Oh, I'm gonna drink a cap shot. I'm gonna drink a cap shot. I'm Got a cappuccino at the bar. Got a quad latte at the bar.
have that iced pistachio mustachio. Sweet. Thank Enjoy you. it. Have a good one. Okay. Got a cappuccino at the bar? No, that was so good, Hey, how's it going? Have you ever watched Joe Dirt? Yes. What's it called? It's on Netflix. It's called, I think you should be. Alright. It's called Primary Year. Are they so funny? So, Jamie, you're like. Gotcha. I didn't even look and I know it's smart. I didn't look either. A chai latte iced at the bar. Don't take 
Not yet.